Hi, welcome to the Edge Business Online Learning Portal at HealthyKnowledge.org. This brief tutorial will demonstrate how to navigate the website. First step to getting started is registering to the website. Click the registration link provided to you and it will direct you to BH Business Online Course Registration page. Scroll down and complete the registration form. Be sure to provide as much information as you can, including the company name. Once you're done, click Continue. You will receive a registration confirmation page to the email address you provided in the form, similar to this one. In about 24 hours, you will receive your password in a separate email for logging into the website. Once you log into the website using your username and password, you will see the course listed in the navigation pane under Current Course. Click the link and it will direct you to the welcome page. On this page, you have everything to get started with the coursework. On the left side of the page, there is a sidebar that lists tools that will support your learning experience. Let's take a look at them. Settings is where you can edit your profile, change your password, or configure your email notifications. To make additions to your profile, click on My Profile Settings and hit Edit Profile. The fields that are marked with red are required and others are optional. Once you scroll down, there's a placeholder where you can attach your picture to share with others, or you can list your interests and make a description of yourself. Once you're done, just hit Update Profile. The navigation pane is like a sitemap where you can see the titles of modules as a list. The blue arrow head expands to show the content or you can minimize it. As you scroll down, you will see technical support pane that directs you to the website's online support center. Here, you can also see answers to some frequently asked questions. The website is customizable. You can hide or show the sidebars by clicking these little plus and minus signs. Or, if you think that you don't need them, you can minimize them on the left side of the page by clicking these. The course syllabus has the details about what you should expect from the course. We strongly suggest that you download and examine the syllabus before proceeding to the videos. To do that, just click on the syllabus to download it in your Downloads folder. Or you can right-click and choose Save Link As to save it in a folder that you specify. I choose Desktop and it's saved. Now I can see it on my desktop. Once you've familiarized yourself with the syllabus, scroll down the web page to see the weekly course materials. This little icon represents video lectures. Watch the videos and complete the assignments below the video if you see any. Participating in the forum debates is crucial for successful online learning. The forum links are indicated by the green speech bubble icon in front of them. Each week's module has a link to the relevant forum post where you can share ideas with other participants. For the first week, we prepared an assignment where you can practice the skills you will need throughout the course. After watching first week's lecture, download and fill out the Beach Activity template. Save link as to save it in your desktop. Hit save. It will open up in a Word document. Once you have completed the assignment, save it and go back to the website. You will use the Dropbox to turn in your assignments throughout the course. Click on the link to navigate to the Dropbox. 
click Add Submission button. You can click to the placeholder and choose File and navigate to your beach activity file. Hit Open and upload this file. Or you can resize your web page so that you can see the file and click and drag it to the placeholder. When you feel like you're done, you can hit Save Changes. Now go back to the course web page and share your ideas with others on the forum. Click the forum link and click Add New Topic. Type in the subject of your post. My learning style and add your message to the message board. You can style your message by using these little buttons. Once you hover over them, a pop-up message will appear describing what they do. This one bolds it, this one italicizes. For instance, let's try. Once you select your message, you can bold it or italicize or underline. You can even add small images to your message. Once you feel like you're done, hit post the form. You can also comment on other posts. Just hit discuss this topic and respond to whichever you want to reply to. hit post. We hope that you enjoyed this course and don't hesitate to contact your coach if you have any questions.